Now I will um, inactivate the point grid so you will see a bit better. And assign the boundary condition. So go into boundary, define a support. I have to select all the nodes which are in this plane. So for that, right click, select, and select the plane. Select this plane and uh, no. And select. So I have to activate the snap again. Snap on the node and okay. Select plane X Y. Okay, now it selected all these nodes. Close that and here check the D all to constrain all the degree of freedom in translation. Click on apply and now you see a small sign which is indicating that you have done the you have assigned the boundary conditions. Next step will be to assign the load to your model. So for that you will have to go in the load and load the tab and the first thing we'll do is to assign the static load cases. So load cases will be defined uh, in four types. So the first one will be uh, the dead load, so I will call it DL. In the type of load you have all the types of load you can assign, so uh, just select dead load here and click on add. I will then select the live load, I will call it LL and here uh, select live load, click on add then I will enter two uh, other loads, WX, which will be the wind uh, on the structure in X direction. So uh, wind load in X direction, click on add. And the last one will be the same but in Y direction. Click on close. Now we have to assign these loads. So the first will be the self waves. That will be assigned to the dead load in Z direction. So minus one, add, close that. Now I will assign a floor load, which will represent the uh, the waves of the second floor. So go into the loads type, click here and I will call it office room. It will represent the second floor load. So I will call it DL and LL. Click on add. Now that you've done that Select the load direction, global Z, OK, and click on the no nodes defini defining the loading area. And now you can directly select on screen the zone on which you want to apply your uh, flow load. So now it's done. Click on close. The next type of load I will apply is a nodal load, which will be uh, assigned to WX, so it will be the wind load in the X direction. I will have enter value of 20. Click on, uh, I have to select, yes, the nodes, so I will select these two nodes. Click on apply, so my load have been assigned. And the last type of load is, sorry, uh, it will be a beam load, so click on element in the beam load section, WY, here select the Y direction. It will be assigned to this face, so I have to select again this plane.
Okay, it's done. Now I can verify in the tree menu that all my loads are assigned to the right uh, static load cases. So it seems to be good. And now I can launch the analysis. So go in the analysis tab and click on perform analysis.